everyone! My name is Ashley Harrison and I'm the Public Programs Manager at the Miami Children's Museum. For this sensory friendly Saturday, I get to show you guys how to make your own homemade light box. We love to use light boxes at the Miami Children's Museum because they're just a magical way to play and a great way to explore our senses. And this month, since we're celebrating Halloween, what better way to play than with the lights? There are lots of benefits to playing with light boxes. One, for example, is that it creates a calming atmosphere that can help lower your child's arousal levels. It also encourages curiosity, and if you have multiple kids at home, it's a great way to practice sharing and to also engage in that social play. Now, you can theme your light box any way you'd like. If you want to focus on letters, numbers, colors, shapes, you can do all that. And for me today, like I mentioned, we're going to focus a little bit on the spooky with Halloween. For our light box, we're going to need a clear plastic bin with a lid, preferably a lid with some latches on the side to keep it closed. That way you don't have any little fingers coming into your bin. You'll need some white Christmas lights. Um, you'll also need either wax paper, parchment paper, something to help you diffuse the light in your box with some scissors and tape. And then later on, I'm gonna show you some tricks for manipulative. So for that, you'll need some clear plastic sheets. You can use permanent markers or dry erase markers. And then any clear, transparent, colorful toy that you wanna use. I have some um, colorful magnets that work really great on the light box. You can also use some of these colored plastic cups. Those are also really fun. Anything that you have at home that can work. Okay, so first we're going to remove our lid and we're gonna take either the wax paper, the parchment paper, and we're gonna kind of cover our lid. So you wanna measure out long enough to cover the top. And then you're gonna tape down the edges with your tape. It doesn't have to be perfect, just to kind of help spread that light out a bit. And I found it easier um, to do this on the parchment paper. It's a little less waxy, so it's easier to tape down. It's just a little tip. we're going to add our lights. So open your box and you're gonna put inside your box your white Christmas lights. Um, I have a kind of a large box, so I am going to use two sets that I've put together and you're just gonna spread them out around your box. And the tricky part is that you're going to plug your lights into the nearest outlet and unfortunately mine doesn't have some extra string here but a lot of lights do have a little bit of a longer string that you can rest right outside of your box you want to lay your lid back on on that straight part of your light and then we're just going to close up with our latches 
And then basically, that is your light box. Okay, so for this next part, I'm gonna show you some fun things that you can use on your light box. You're gonna take your clear plastic sheet. I don't know if you can see it very well, but grab your clear plastic sheet and you can either use permanent markers or you can use your dry erase markers. Now, if you choose to use your dry erase markers, just know that it comes off easily on your sheet. So it's good if you wanna just have a temporary picture erase with a paper towel and draw something else. Or if you want something a little more permanent, go ahead and use your permanent markers. I have a special helper here and he's going to help me draw some Halloween creepy monsters. Here we've got our boo, we have our witch's hat. Awesome. And you can cut these out even if you want, or you can keep them on your light box. But because they're transparent, they show up really nicely on your light box. And now, of course, the last step is you can add any of your toys. We've got our clear plastic cups, our clear little magnets, and we've cut out some of these <laughs> spooky critters to play with. And you can just have some really good fun. And there you have it, your very own homemade light box. Thank you for joining me this sensory-friendly Saturday. I'm Ashley, hope to see you next time.